Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. As promised, we're back with another video that will be helpful for all you MacBook owners out there. But first, before kicking off today's episode, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel so far. And if you're new to the community, please be sure to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new updates. In today's video, if you're a MacBook owner, you're probably aware that it's one of the most powerful and reliable machines on the market. The odds are of it crashing is pretty low. However, with time, even a reliable MacBook is likely to wear out, which can lead to the MacBook won't turn on issue. If you're also stuck with the MacBook that is refusing to power up, make sure that you watch this video right to the end, as we're going to be walking through the most effective ways that will fix the issue and get your MacBook working again. When it comes to the MacBook, the problem is usually with a specific component, be it hardware device or third party software. Unlike Windows, it is very rare that it will have an issue with the overall system in the case of the MacBook. Here are some common reasons why Apple laptops won't turn on. Firstly, it could be from a faulty hardware, broken hard drive permissions, or damaged system files. So our goal would be to help you isolate the faulty component and take the measured effects to quickly fix the error. Now, without wasting another second, let's quickly start with the first solution to fix the MacBook won't turn on issue. First of all, press the power key and check if you hear any sounds like the fans or unusual boot click. In the case of your MacBook that won't boot up at all, performing a power cycle will most likely fix the issue. Unplug all the power cables and turn off your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air by pressing and holding the power button. Continue holding the power button for 10 more seconds and reconnect the cables. Keep pressing the power button for 10 more seconds. Now boot your MacBook again and see if the issue is gone or not. In many cases, the MacBook won't turn on issue arises due to a faulty AC adapter or charging cable. Try swapping out the the adapter and the cable with a different one to see if the MacBook turns on or not. In case it's working fine with the new cable or adapter, the only solution would be just to replace the entire charging setup with a brand new one. If you're using a Mac desktop, the issue might be caused due to a loosely connected cable. Take a look around at the cables and make sure that each connection is firm. In case you've recently opened your Mac to install new hardware components like a new hard drive or RAM, this this might also cause the Mac won't turn on issue. In this case, either reinstall the old hardware or make sure that each new component is perfectly in place in its sockets. NVRAM, also known as non volatile Random Access Memory, is a special type of memory that stores data even when the MacBook is turned off. Even though NVRAM isn't related to MacBook's booting process, resetting it might help you fix the issue of the MacBook won't turn on. So let's walk through the process of resetting your NVRAM on your MacBook. Shut down your MacBook. Simultaneously press and hold the command plus the option plus the P plus the R keys and wait for your MacBook to turn on. Your MacBook will play the second reboot chime. Release all the keys once you hear that sound. So far, we've only talked about simple and quick solutions. If your MacBook still doesn't turn on, it's time to move on to more advanced solutions. One such solution is resetting the System Management Controller or the SMC. The SMC is a built-in controller with the MacBook ecosystem that takes care of different functions like the keyboard backlight, battery, power button, and so on. So if nothing helps you fix the solutions, resetting the SMC would probably be the last thing that you can try before completely reinstalling the Mac OS. Follow these instructions to reset your SMC on your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air. Shut down your MacBook and unplug the power cable. Now connect the power cable again and press the Shift plus Control plus Option keys and Power button simultaneously. Release all the buttons at the same time and you'll notice a small flicker in the power cable light. This is an indication that the SMC has been successfully reset. Now restart your MacBook and check if the MacBook Air slash MacBook Pro doesn't turn on issue is gone or not. Reinstalling the entire Mac OS would probably be the last solution on your list. You should only consider this if 
all the above methods that I've mentioned fail to fix your MacBook won't turn on issue. Step one, shut down your MacBook and press the power button again. Now boot it into recovery mode by pressing the command and R button together. Step two, the macOS utility will appear on your screen with different options. Use the arrow keys to choose the reinstall macOS option. Step three, if asked, enter your Apple ID and continue the process. It may take several minutes for the OS to reinstall completely, so be patient. Step four, once the setup wizard quits, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. Once again, Thank you very much for watching today's episode. We really hope that this video has helped you out with your underlying issue when your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro does not turn on. Let us know in the comment section below if you face any issues while fixing the problem. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you tap that subscribe button to watch similar content in the future. Anyway, everyone, take care and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.